So you wanna get into content creation or you've been creating content for a little bit and you took the first bit of advice, which is if you wanna be a content creator, all you have to do is start creating content. Great, you've got your webcam set up, the lighting looks a little bit flat. So how do we go from this to this? Well, the answer lies in one simple technique and that is three point lighting. As photography and filmmaking has grown, lighting actually hasn't changed that much. You've got three lights that illuminate your face and your features. These are your key light, your fill light, and your backlight. If you wanna take that further, you can then use the background light to lift the quality of your image that will allow you to create not just a pretty frame for yourself, but also to create the space around you to match the energy of your content that you'd like to create. So when you're starting off lighting your scene, I always recommend turning off every single light that you have on and then work it through one light at a time so you can isolate what that light is doing and then you're able to understand how to control that light to, to use it to its best effect. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna turn off our house light and then we're gonna organize our backlight. I like to start with the backlight as it's a, a much cleaner isolation than the lights in the rest of the frame. Um, what we're using is the Ulanzi right here uh, without its filter. You can get it with a softer filter as well, which is great for, for using on the face. But when it comes to using it for the backlight, I wanna get as much pop out of that as I possibly can. So we've put this without the filter on it so we can get as much light out of that as possible. The diffuser on this light will knock out at about 50% of the light intensity. So taking it off means we've got a really strong beam coming from our backlight, which is gonna hit the back of our head. Um, great. And we also have this fantastic um, magic arm, which is a little bit longer. It's a longer sized magic arm. You can see a link to this below in the description along with the Lansy lights. And this allows me to clamp this to uh, a, a fixed source, such as a bookshelf or a computer table or something else that's hard surface. So you can clamp this and angle the light so you can get the most out of it that you possibly wanna get. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off our house lights, connect our backlight, and then work our way around to the front from there. Okay, so now the only light sources that we have are the light coming from the ambient light in the room. It is filming during the daytime, so there is a little bit of ambient light, um, as well as the light coming from our computer screen, uh, part of the ambient light there, and our backlight. As you can see, the backlight is quite nice and intense. It really pops the hair that I have on my head. Um, and that's a really fantastic way to start. So we can see it's already changing the shape. What it does with the backlight is it separates me from the background which is a really fantastic way to help your subject, which is you, obviously. We're, we're coming to the stream to engage with you. Your content is about you and what you have to say. So you wanna make sure that you can put yourself front and center and what the backlight does is it helps to separate you from the background, which creates depth in the frame and allows you to really stand out. Really fantastic light. Okay, easy done. So what we wanna do next is we wanna be able to uh, set up our key light. Our key light is the main source of light that will illuminate our face and our features and will allow us to pop once again from the background. Mine is currently sitting at uh, uh, maybe, maybe around uh, sort of 35 degrees from the camera. And what that allows me to do is just get a nice sort of shape uh, along the features. Um, you can also see with our backlight, and you'll see this with the other lights too, these lights don't have a very strong um, angle of light, meaning you can't really control the spread that the light comes in. So already with our backlight, we've got quite a lot of light hitting our background and um, that can be okay. But what you can do if you really want to control the source is you can get something like aluminium foil or a bit of cardboard even, and you can actually place that around your light. You can get specialized um, black foil that they use in the industry, in the film industry to help um, shape light. And what that does is it creates a cone, uh, a single source of light, so it spots a little bit more. So it just isolates the spot on your head as opposed to filling and spilling out the background there. Um, you don't necessarily need to do that all the time, but it can be a great way to enhance it even further. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn on our, our key light and this light's gonna be the, the key source of light on our face and will help elevate uh, us in the frame as well. 
Great, fantastic. So that's quite a strong source of light. You can see that that's, uh, that's wrapping around on my face. Um, what we have here is actually a little, little angle of light there. I think that's called Rembrandt lighting. Um, so already there's a huge amount of light hitting our face. I actually have this light set to a warmer color temperature. And what that allows me to do is have a warmer, more intimate feeling light on the face. And that's a really great way to enhance the features of the skin tones, um, as well as keep your subject really interesting. You can think about that as well with the color of the light, with how you want to convey the content of your stream. It's a really fantastic way to get creative just with, just with white balance. Um, so this light here, you can feel, you can obviously see it's a huge difference on my face. Let's cover the light there and let's bring it back. Massive difference to the light that's hitting my face. It's a very strong source. Um, now what we want to do uh, is we want to turn on our fill light. So that's going to fill in the shadows on this side of the face and make sure that we can see into the other eye and uh, that there's not too much harsh shadow on the side of the face. Okay, there we are. Now that's quite a strong fill light. I might even turn that down a little bit. Great, there we have it, fantastic. Okay, so that's our key, our fill and our backlight, the three sources of light to illuminate the subject in the frame. Now what we wanna do is we wanna elevate that by uh, lighting our background. That's the next level in this, in this uh, evolution of lighting to make sure that we can create a nice cinematic look. As you can see, the background or the, the rest of the frame, the mise-en-scene, um, is we've got quite a colorful uh, art department in the background of our shot there. We've got Barbie dolls and uh, some film books. Uh, we've got a guitar, we've got a movie poster, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. And what we need to do now is create some more texture in the frame and we can do that by using some background lights. And what I'm gonna do is use some color in the frame because I think that's a great way to help separate the subject and give some contrast between the subject and the background as well as make the background and the stream or the content just a little bit more interesting. Um, the lights that we're using to light the background are Genio down lights that we've actually jerry-rigged. Instead of being ceiling lights, we've used them as uh, sources of light that we've just connected via a, a standard AC adapter. Um, now, you can also use more of the Ulanzi lights if you'd like, or any number of lights. There's so many LED lights on the market. Um, some great panels that you can use, but I always recommend trying to find something that is RGB so you can control the balance of the frame with some color and some color contrast, right? So we're gonna turn these on one at a time. The good thing with these lights are that they, um, they have an app that can be controlled. If you are to level up your content and go beyond the Ulanzi lights and go into the Aperture lights, the MCs, they are app controlled as well. So you can control them all from your phone or from another device. Um, and they are also RGB operated. So that's sort of the main difference in the price point between these Ulanzi lights and the Aperture lights. Um, the Aperture lights are fantastic for that reason almost alone. It's a really, really useful app um, and it allows you to control the lights with a lot more, a lot more uh, consistency. Now we'll start off with our, we've actually got a, a lamp, uh, a floor lamp there that we found, uh, it was a, there was a street find um, and we hooked it up with a Genio light, which is this one allows us to add a little bit of color. So already we've got a little bit of color in the frame. We're then gonna use our other two background lights. We've got two more uh, Genio down lights set up in the background behind our bookshelf so we can help pop the wall. And we have set those to, to some different colors. This light here, uh, you know, it's nice and warm and that one combined with our backlight makes the backlight feel motivated. That's what's called motivated light. So the color of this light is similar to the light hitting the back of our head. And that actually helps create some consistency and some, some, some tonal balance within the frame. It's a really great way to enhance the, the quality of lights in your frame and a subconscious experience for the audience that is much more appealing and connected to the image that they're watching. One light that I like, which is basically the only light lighting my face at the moment is the Ulanzi VL120 RGB model. This is a fantastic model. This light is a pocket-sized LED panel light with 120 beads. And what that allows you to do is control the level of intensity as well as the color balance and the, the saturation of the light. So you can control even bringing a little bit more color into the light if you'd like. If you wanna get some blue or some purple or some orange or some red, you can do that with this light. It's a really fantastic light. Comparably, you would be looking at getting the Aperture MCs uh, for a higher end uh, product, which are a fantastic light. Um, I'm a very, very big fan of the Aperture brand. If you've been in the streaming space for a while, you've no doubt heard of Elgato as well well, which do some fantastic lights uh, to help 
help elevate the quality of your streams. But if you really want something and you're in a bit of a pinch on the budget, then I cannot recommend enough the Ulanzi VL120s. Uh, they surprised me with how good a quality they were actually. So there you have it. That's a few simple steps that you can take to take your content from amateur to pro. If you like this kind of content, hit that like and subscribe button it means a lot to me. I'm grateful to have you here as a part of the community and, uh, and I love creating content like this. We also stream live on Twitch most evenings, twitch.tv forward slash the Tom Major and have a fantastic Discord community if you wanna get involved in that. Link to that is in the description below. I am the Tom Major. Thanks for watching. Stay dreamy and I will see you at the next one.